Hi everybody, this is Ms. Stevens and we're going to be talking about how to make a test file for the AP test using Photoshop. So a couple of reminders. First thing in the height of the pixels, you're going to want to choose 530 pixels. This is only the height you're dealing with. You do not have to deal with the width at all. Second thing is be absolutely positive you're changing the pixels, not the inches. And lastly, to be sure to save it as a JPEG. Other kinds of files, especially PSD files, um, will not load or view in the AP test. So it's exceptionally important that you save it as a JPEG. All right, so to make an individual test file, first open up the file. And we're going to go to Image, Image Size. It's important to note that if you are a photographer, you want to be sure, and a creative suite as well, you want to be sure that you have a copy of this file because this is a damaging action that we're about to do. It's going to be very tiny and kind of an icky file that's not going to work out so well. So it's very, very important that you have a nice copy of your file before we um, make it a test file. So now that we've gone to image, image size to open up this panel, um, you would note that in the window here we have a very zoomed in version, or appears to be, um, of this file. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that um, the constrained proportions is linked, which mine is. Um, you can tell because right now there are no little handlebars attaching to height and width, and now there are. If you have an older version of Photoshop, it might have a little checkbox over here that says constrain proportions instead. Either way is fine so long as it is definitely linked, definitely checked, definitely constrained from the width to the height. That'll keep it in proportion. So now I'm going to take my resolution. I'm going to change that to 300. And I'm going to look over where it says pixels, make sure that's selected. It should not be any of these. It needs to be pixels. And then we're going to highlight where it says height and type in 530. Press OK. And now, even though that looks small, that's exactly the size that will fit um, on the AP test. So I'm going to go File, Save As, especially for my photographer so you don't overwrite it. And I'm going to write um, Parker Sleepin. And save it somewhere you're going to remember. Strongly recommend saving it in a test file folder. And that's how you make one file into a test file. But let's say they want to batch your files. Let's say you have done all the work you need, and now all you really have to do is put it all together. So how to batch your files. First thing, the most important thing, is make sure, especially for my photographers, but that you have created a folder with all of your work in it that you want to batch. It's okay if some of them have already been batched, it'll just override it. But for my photographers, make sure you have a copy of that folder. This will destroy your files. And in that copy of the folder, name it test files. This way you know that that's the folder with the bad files in it. Okay? So, here we go. Part 1. You're going to go to Window, right up here, and you're going to choose Actions. That'll pop your Action panel up. You're going to need to select New Action. To do that, go to the Action panel. There are these little lines. looks like lined paper. Click on it. Choose New Action. And name it Test File. This way you can use this again without having to record it. You really only have to do this part once, so long as you've done it right. Press record. And you'll notice that little red button on the action panel popped up, just like an old VCR. It's recording everything I'm doing from now on. So, what to do next? We're going to follow the instructions and make a test file. Hopefully you remember what that's about. So, I'm going to go to open my file. I'm going to choose Parker. Actually, I'm going to choose a part of me. I'm going to choose a different file because we have already resized Parker. So I have my file here. 
and notice it's still recording, the red button's still on. I'm going to go to image, image size, change the height in pixels to 530. Notice it made it much smaller. I'm going to press OK. And it's super tiny now. Oh, look. But that's exactly want, what the AP test wants. File, save as. I want it as a JPEG. And I'm going um, to add the word test in here just because I want to know which one it is. Press save. Press OK. And then I'm going to close out that window. So if you look over here in your action panel, where it's still recording at the moment, Underneath test file, it shows me opening a file, it shows me changing the image size, saving it, and closing it. Perfect, that's what I want. I'm going to press stop, and here's how you batch it. So now that you know how to make a test file, we're going to batch your files. At this point, please be absolutely positive that you've put all the files that you want to change into test files into a folder, and I'd strongly recommend making a copy of that folder and naming it test files. This way you know that those are the ones that have been resized to be tiny, to be appropriate for the APR test. So once you have that folder and you've named it test files, go to File, Automate, Batch. The source is the folder that you're looking for. The source is the folder that you're going to change into a test file. So choose. Yours would likely say test files because that's what I'm asking you to do. Um, I didn't get to change mine yet, so it says window. I'm going to choose it. My destination is to save and close on top of itself. And again, the action says test file, press OK. And you'll notice it's opening up each of the images within that folder, resizing it, saving it, and closing it. So now when you go to that folder, all of the files that were within there are now test files and you're free to upload them to the AP test. Let me know if you have any problems, um, but it should be pretty simple. And remember, once you make this action, you can reuse it for the rest of the year. You just have to go through the same process, file, automate, batch, and it will be resized for you. All right, good luck. Happy test files.